So just to let everyone know, you know, Naruto finishes today. Unraveled, I'll be playing offline tonight, not live streamed. If I beat it, great. If not, tomorrow's gameplay stream will be Unraveled. Now, let's say I beat Unraveled quickly tomorrow. Like, let's say I play it on stream tomorrow, and I beat it within an hour and a half. Good, because I need some time to be working on all these projects. In fact, tomorrow night, uh, I, I'm going to be putting together and, and hopefully releasing Hits of the Week, which is my weekly best of montage series where I take the best moments, the worst moments, the most notable moments from all the raw gameplay of the week, and I try to compile them into a, a, an, a montage for DSP Gaming. Excuse me, uh, for KO Gaming. I said the wrong three there. Uh, the wrong three. I can't speak English today. I said the wrong thing there. Ahem. So, yeah, I want to do that, but the thing is, I haven't had any time to work on it this week. Typically, I usually take Thursday night to work on it, but I'm not, because tonight I'm working on Unravel. Playing more Unravel, so... This is a very heavy gameplay-centric week, and uh, I'm still hoping that I'll be able to focus on, uh, you know, getting that done for tomorrow night. We'll have to see. But, that's the good news. If I, if I finish up Unravel early tomorrow on stream, that's no, you know, no waste of time. I'll be able to focus more on getting the hits of the week out, alright? Obviously, when I play a game, I don't like to rush it. I don't want to rush through the game and not explore and not take my time, because I think that exploring, taking my time, doing commentary on what I'm seeing around me, is what makes my playthroughs great. You know what I mean? That's the thing. If I'm just rushing through, whoa, go, 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 it's not very good. And not to say that I don't do that, like, Halo 5, for example, that game sucked monkey shit, and I was so fucking bored playing it that I just ran right through the whole fucking campaign, and I beat the game in record time because the game sucked. The sooner that I beat all of the games this weekend, the better. Because, here's the bottom line, everyone. I want to review all these games. I would like to do a, a full-on review of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. I'd maybe like to do a more abridged review of Unravel because it is a more simplified game and it doesn't really need as long of a review as a game like Naruto does. And I'd also like to review Firewatch. The problem is, if I'm really embroidled... Uh, em embroidled? What the hell is that? Is that even a word? Embroidled? <laughs> uh, I want to say embroiled. Or let me, let me use a word that people actually speak in the English language. If I'm so busy with all this gameplay all weekend and I don't finish all these games until sometime Monday, I'm not going to have an opportunity to review any of the games. Because as I've said, Tuesday Street Fighter V comes out, and this whole week coming up is going to be Street Fighter V Mania. I'm going to be playing multiple streams of Street Fighter V, probably for a couple days, and then later on in the week I'm going to focus in on, you know, the best of stuff of the week when it comes to Street Fighter V. <laughs> So in regard to that, I, I definitely want to be putting tons and tons uh, of time into Street Fighter V. I want to become re-immersed in the, in the franchise, in the universe, in the competitive aspect of it. I want to try out all the characters. I actually have a special event planned, what it looks like it might be Thursday this week, where I'm actually going to be doing a lobby, a private lobby with someone who uh, I'm friendly with, who is uh, you know pretty decent Street Fighter. And what we're going to try to do, we're actually going to do a test, a network test, where the two of us are going to make a private lobby and play for a couple hours and see how well does the netcode hold up if you do a private lobby in this game. <clears throat> so it's going to be very interesting. A very interesting week. Not only will we be trying out the gameplay, trying out the modes, but also testing the network, like everything. So that by the end of the week, I could do a full-fledged review of Street Fighter V and give you a full perspective on what I think about the game. I appreciate all of you who have been coming out every single day for the streams. And three days straight, you know, Naruto streaming here. In the past two days, the stream attendance has been excellent. And I want to say thank you for that. That's awesome that people are enjoying, you know, a new game as much as I am. And they're coming out every day to check it out. That's an awesome feeling. It is. It means that you guys appreciate the fact that I'm checking out the new games. You like my style of coverage and you want to see it daily. I really like that. And I'm hoping with all the new games coming out, uh, you know, in the next several weeks, you know, Street Fighter V, and then Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, Far Cry Primal. I've been gone through this list a hundred times, but I'll go through it again. Uh, Zelda Twilight Princess HD, Hitman, UFC 2, MLB, and then of course in April, the insane amount of gaming overload between games like Quantum Break and Homefront, Dark Souls 3, and, uh, the new Star Fox and Uncharted 4. It's gonna be crazy. So I hope that you'll continue to come out and check out the streams daily. I hope that you'll spread the word and say, you know, Phil's live on stream daily, come check out his stuff. Uh, I really appreciate the great attendance that we've had this week so far. I really do. Because I'll be honest, I, get ner I do get nervous. I do get nervous when, you know, there's an extended period of downtime, like, for example, January, and not a lot of people came out for the streams. You know, there's a lot of games that I was playing that I thought would be more interesting that really didn't catch on as much as I thought they would. And here I am streaming them, and, you know, I'm not even getting a couple hundred people for them, and it's like, damn. Uh, you wonder, what happened? And is it the game? Is it me? And ultimately, I have to say, it has to be the game, because look, when new games come out, now people are back. So that's a good feeling. 
please check out my Amazon Associates link in the description of the video. It's number one. Number two, if you want to further support my efforts to live stream and do on-demand videos every single day, plus all these new reviews and edited videos and vlogging and yada yada yada, uh, please ch check out patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Uh, but yeah, anything that you can pledge to that helps me to keep doing this, you know, on a daily basis. As my full-time job, this, this year is going to be very, very challenging financially for me. I'm trying to make it work. So if you like it, and you want to see me continue to be successful, consider pledging to my Patreon. And of course, there is my girlfriend's business, The Black Current, where she makes handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts.